not losing weight on keto? This video will cover why that might be the case, how you can change that, and what resources can help you along the way. There are a bunch of potential reasons why you may not be losing weight on keto. The most popular of these is that you're consuming too many calories. Critical to any weight loss journey is the importance of a calorie deficit. This means that you need to expend more calories than you consume each day. A keto diet is all well and good, but you're unlikely to lose weight if you aren't closely watching your calorie intake. Common keto staples like avocados, olive oil, full fat dairy and nuts are all high in calories and shouldn't be overdone. Pay close attention to your portion size, look to increase your physical activity and ensure that snacking remains in moderation throughout the day. Another common reason is that you're simply consuming too many carbs. To adhere to a proper keto diet, your carb consumption should be under 50 grams per day. Only 5% of your total calories should come from carbs, allowing your body to reach the desired state of ketosis. To help out with this, I recommend tracking your calories and macronutrients through MyFitnessPal. This allows you to input all the foods you have each day and see how many carbs you're consuming. Chances are, there's a certain food in your diet that has many more carbs than you'd expect. Simply eliminating this from your diet could help significantly in reducing your carbs, reaching ketosis, and ultimately losing weight. Another reason why people don't lose weight on keto is that they aren't eating nutritious foods. Regardless of the diet you follow, consuming nutritious whole foods is of paramount importance. Snack bars, processed foods, and packaged foods can all derail your weight loss with their extra calories. They don't provide the appropriate nutrients, meaning you'll feel sluggish while not being completely full. Eggs, fish, pastured meats, poultry, avocado, and olive oil are nutritious staples of the keto diet that should form the bulk of your meals. Similarly, snacking on high calorie foods is another common reason for the dreaded keto plateau. I'll start by saying that snacking on healthy foods can be a great way to minimize hunger between meals and avoid overeating. That said, a lot of common ketogenic snack choices are rather high in fat. I'm talking specifically about nuts, butter, cheese, and jerky. Opting for proteins or non-starchy vegetables will help you feel full for longer without all the calories. Vegetables in particular provide much needed fiber that can help your digestive system when transitioning into keto. Moreover, incorporating physical activity into your life is of paramount importance on the keto diet. Exercise has several health advantages, lowering your risk of conditions like heart disease, diabetes, anxiety, and obesity. It can also help build muscle, boosting your metabolism and burning more energy each day. Increasing your exercise also allows you to eat slightly more food and still ensure a daily caloric deficit. You don't have to work out every day either. Start out with three to four days per week, upping the intensity as you become increasingly fit. Another way to accentuate weight loss on keto is to get adequate sleep and minimize stress. Your cortisol production increases significantly when stressed, which encourages your body to store fat. This often occurs in the belly area, which is notorious for being the most difficult fat to lose. There is also a link between increased stress and sleep deprivation, a very common reason for weight gain. If you're getting less than seven hours of sleep a night, it can be very difficult to restrict your calories the next day. A lack of sleep has a big impact on your hunger regulating hormones, leading to an increased appetite. Lowering your stress and setting aside seven to eight hours for sleep each night can have a surprisingly huge positive effect on your keto diet. Overall, if you're not losing weight on keto, there are a few key action points to follow. Firstly, you need to reduce your calorie consumption, starting with carbs. Eat nutritious foods as often as possible, eliminating processed and packaged foods. 
don't shoot for unrealistic expectations either. Losing one to two pounds each week is a great result that is more than sustainable. Lastly, take a step back and try to minimize stress, significantly improving your sleep in the process. If you're still after a bit of help with your keto diet, I've left a link to the custom keto diet in the description. This is a great keto resource that tailors a diet to your specific needs, allowing you to get the best possible results. If you've been struggling for a while, this could be the product that turns things around for you. Until next time, thanks for watching.